Hi and welcome. I wanted to um, thank you for coming to our virtual college exploration for all New Jersey students. Today you'll have an opportunity to view one of many sessions throughout this week and next week. If you're interested, there are more sessions um, that you can sign up for. And we also have recordings available after each session, um, whether you've uh, been able to attend it or not. Today, your cameras and microphones will be off, which means that our panelists would not be able to see or hear you. However, you do have a Q&A button on your screen that you can type in all of your questions. And when our panelists have some time, they'll be able to answer the questions for you. So with no further ado, I'll turn it over to our panelists. Great, thank you so much. So. All right. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, so my name is Amanda Custer. I am the Assistant Director of Admission at Rowan University. I'm going to let my other great colleagues introduce themselves before we kind of dive into our presentation. So Heather. Hi, everyone. I'm Heather Medina. I'm the Interim Director of Admissions at Stockton University. Thanks for joining us. Hi, everybody. My name is Brittany Ect, and I'm the Assistant Director of Admissions at Rutgers University Camden. All right, and I am going to kick off uh, the presentation tonight and I'm going to talk all about um, our Rutgers School of Nursing on the Camden campus. All right, next slide, please, Amanda. Sorry, it's not, can I click it? There we go. Okay. <laughs> Um, so the, we have had a nursing program on the Camden campus for many years, but within the last 10 years, our, our nursing school itself was created and we have had tremendous success with our nursing programs and our, our nursing students. So that's why we decided to talk about our nursing program today. Um, but nursing is the fastest growing profession um, pro projected um, at 12% growth. Um, and if you look at the next statistic, which is actually kind of staggering when you think about it, um, there is a, a projected um, 1 million retirements within the school of nursing, or excuse me, within the nursing field by 2030. So we're 10 years away from that. So nursing is going to be in demand for many, many years to come. Um, so we are very excited about all of the programs that we can offer to help you become a registered nurse to be the next generation of nurses. So why should you pick the Rutgers Camden School of, of Nursing? So our, our nursing school is based very much on research. So our faculty member first within the program are still active within their own area um, of nursing. So our nursing program is is specifically research based, um, but it is also very, very heavily involved with social justice and civic engagement as it is part of Rutgers University Camden's um, strategic vision and our, and our curriculum. About three years ago, we opened up our brand new nursing and science building. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous modern building with state of the art facilities in both our, our labs for the science classes, but most specifically for our simulation labs. The dummies within our simulation labs can birth a baby, they can bleed, they can cry, they can scream. I mean, everything that, that you would encounter as a physical nurse, you'll be able to have access to in the dummy field before you actually go out into your clinical rotations. Our class sizes on average in the Camden campus are small, between 25 to 35 students. However, when you get into your nursing specific labs, they are, and your clinical groups, they are limited to eight students. So you are getting personal attention within our nursing program. Um, with the clinical rotations, you actually will have your first clinical, your sophomore year in the program, and then your junior year is when you do your full year's worth of, um, of rotations. Um, and then just some, some things to note, if any of you are coming from a veteran background, maybe your family's um, very active within the military, Rutgers Camden was the first Purple Heart University within the state of New Jersey. We are very, very military friendly. And if you know any veterans in your family, in your friends that are looking to come back and change their career into nursing, we have a special veteran serving veterans fellowship program that might be very much of interest to them. 
So what do you do besides, obviously, your classes, your labs, your clinicals? Um, we have scholar exchange programs, um, and then we also have service learning programs where you are going, you know, to, you can see all of the different, um, the countries that we'll go to. These are intensive uh, programs where you are actually there for three weeks. So you are really getting the experience within these countries and you are doing things within the local population. So you are in the local clinics, you're helping build um, housing and stoves and, and, you know, health aspects within these communities. So it is a very in-depth experience that every student has the opportunity to go through as part of their curriculum. It is not required. So don't think that you have to study abroad. But if that's something that you're interested in, we offer those types of, of opportunities within the curriculum and within the semester itself. Um, and then talking more about your, your clinical rotations, we have over 125 different cl clinical partners that range the state of New Jersey. Um, typically, they are, are going to be within an hour drive. You do have to provide your transportation to and from. However, those clinical experiences um, will vary. Some are in hospitals. So we have Cooper University that's right across the street from us. You have um, CHOP in Philadelphia that's right across the bridge, you have the Kennedy, the Jefferson healthcare system. Um, and then we also are in the different clinics um, within the virtual healthcare system and the Inspira, Inspira healthcare system. So you will be able to be exposed to many different clinical settings. We also offer a lot of different support outside of the, the classroom. I will say our nursing curriculum is extremely intensive. Um, so it is, it's going to take a lot to be in our nursing program. Oh, par, sorry about that. Um, but so we, um, we really offer a lot of different support outside of the classroom for you. Um, we have a Center for Academic Resources, Engagement and Services, which we call CARES, which is specifically for our nursing students. That's where all of your academic advising will take place. Um, that is who you will go to speak to for clinical placements. They'll help you through all of that process. We have specific tutors in our learning center for our nursing students. The Career Center will hold um, specific nursing and, and, and science-based resume writing workshops. There's a specific healthcare fair um, where you could potentially go meet future clinical uh, employers or clinical spots before you even get the opportunity to do your clinical rotations. Um, and then the Student Nurses Association, the SNA, that is a very, very active club within the School of Nursing. They do an awful lot on campus, off campus, volunteer basis. They are super active. They are all over the campus. And those types of opportunities work very, very well on resumes. All right, so this is just a quick screenshot of when you are coming in from a high school into the nursing program, you apply directly to the nursing school, you see right off the bat, you're starting with with A and P1 in your first semester. So all of the spaces that have a class, you are following this curriculum specifically. The open slots that you see um, at the bottom of your one first year and your second year, those are open for elective courses, but for the most part, you are following this curriculum to a T. So you'll see the sciences are the heavy, heavy classes um, within your first two years. And then in years three and four, this is where you are coming into a little bit more of the, the nursing specific that you needed those science um, foundation courses for. Now you're actually in the nursing curriculum itself. And these are the years that you'll be doing your clinical rotations while taking these classes. The way that it works is that you typically don't have class the day that you have clinical. Um, so if you have clinical Monday and Wednesday, you'll more than likely be on campus Tuesdays and Thursdays taking your physical classes. But this curriculum is also located on our website if you wanted to look at it all together and download it for yourself. All right, and then I think I just have two more slides. Um, I wanna to talk to you about your NCLEX. So obviously that is your board exam that you take after you graduate, but Rutgers Camden will prepare you to take the NCLEX 
all four years in the programs. Your textbooks that you will buy have NCLEX software. Your tests that you take within your nursing classes are designed via the, the NCLEX exam. So you are testing in the way that you will be tested when you sit for your NCLEX. It allows our faculty members to take a look at the class overall to see are there areas where students are excelling? Are there areas where students need that extra level of push? Um, but you'll know at the end of each exam how you're doing in each of the, the different areas. Um, and then oh, go back one more just to look at that list that last um, credential down at the bottom. Um, we do have a 94% pass rate for students who sit for the NCLEX for the first time. Um, that is from April 2019 to March 2020. Okay, and then my last slide here um, is the admission uh, procedure. So like I mentioned, you will apply directly to the School of Nursing coming from high school. Um, so you will apply either through the Rutgers University wide application or through the coalition application. Um, we will be asking you for a $70 application fee or you could have a fee waiver put in place for that fee. You will be self-reporting your academic record via a special link once you submit your application. You'll use your high school transcript to fill out the self-reported academic record. We are SAT, ACT optional for this upcoming academic year. We understand that COVID um, had canceled uh, test dates still potentially could could cancel future test dates and that's not fair to you um, that is that is absolutely nothing that you did in this matter so we are going test optional if you have tests that you want to submit because you're proud of a score if you have taken it you can submit them but it will not hurt you if you do not um, and then just to go over the nursing specific admission requirements, you have to have three years of math minimum, which most of you need to graduate from a New Jersey high school, but you do have to have um, algebra one, algebra two, and geometry. If you have accelerated maths and you have maths that are higher level, that is fantastic. That would take the place of these, um, but if you're not taking the higher level maths, you have to have algebra one and two and geometry. And then you need three years in a science. Two of them must be lab-based and one of them must be chemistry. Um, that is an absolute requirement for our program. Um, sometimes we see students that are missing that chemistry or you're taking the chemistry your senior year. Just be very, very um, on top of the fact that chemistry is a required class for the Rutgers Camden School of Nursing. And I think that's it, Amanda. Oh, no, one more. Outcomes, just outcomes. 96% um, of our students who graduated from the nursing program had a, uh, had a job within six months of graduation. You can see the majority of our nurses are employed within New Jersey, but that doesn't mean that you have to stay in New Jersey. And you can see there the salary range from the average and the median salary. And now I promise I'm done. <laughs> so now I'm gonna turn it back over to Amanda. All right, thanks so much, Brittany. Hi, everybody, again, welcome virtually to Rowan. Um, so I'm gonna be going over some general information about Rowan University uh, with a little bit of uh, specific information regarding engineering. Uh, so it's kind of what we're known for right now, so I do wanna give everybody opportunity to learn a little bit more about that program. So just a little, you know, information about Rowan. So we do have three campus locations. When you think of Rowan University, you're going to predominantly think of our main campus in Glassboro. This is our residential facility. This is where you're going to find most of the um, academics are held. You're, this is where all of our um, cafeterias and dining options are as well. So again, when you think of Glassboro, you're going to think of that main campus. We also have a location in Camden, New Jersey. So we are right across the street from our first Camden. So we're right in that university district. It's a really great area, a lot of great eateries. As you can tell, I'm kind of a foodie. That's always super important to me, um, but it's a really cool area. Then we have West Campus in Maloka Hill, New Jersey. So that's only about one mile down the road from our main campus of Glassboro. Um, this is a really cool spot. There are about 20 different businesses located in that facility that you see right there. Um, and they're all doing different types of research. So if you're interested in chemical engineering, let's say, um, we have a whole big lab where they are testing different types of asphalt. And the state of New Jersey will be using that research and that data to improve the roadways in New Jersey, which is great. 
great, right? Because the roadways aren't always the best here. So we're working to improve that. Just a quick snapshot of our enrollment profile. So we have just under 20,000 students total here at Rowan, about 16,000 undergraduate students. So I'm gonna kind of sound like Goldilocks. We're not too big, not too small. We're kind of just right um, in terms of campus size. Average class size is about 20 students overall. We cap every single class at 30 students, no lecture halls, no teaching assistants. Um, that's especially important for engineering, right? You wanna make sure that you're having a qualified person, a qualified professor teaching you um, because that's not only you know, gonna help you flourish as a student, but it's also a really great investment in your education to know that you're getting somebody you know, qualified to be teaching you and not a graduate student. Student to faculty ratio of 17 to one, amazing ratio. I think um, in the next few slides, I'll have it specifically for engineering. I think it's 22 to one for the engineering program. Um, but again, that's in the next slide. So just to go over the freshman application process as a whole. So whether you're interested in engineering or art, this is pretty streamlined. So we are a common app school that is live. So if you want to submit an application today, you are more than welcome to. We do require a high school transcript. We are test optional as well this year, and I always like to note we've always been test optional. However, there have always been restrictions with that. Um, restrictions in GPA and majors. So historically, if you were interested in engineering, you weren't able to apply test optional. Like Brittany said, we're not gonna fault you for something that you had no control over. So we know that a lot of students didn't have a chance to take the SAT or ACT. So again, we're not holding that against you. Um, in lieu of those test scores, we are requiring you to write a test optional essay, which will be used again in lieu of those test scores. We do require two letters of recommendation. And if you're interested in any art or performing art, we do require an audition and or a portfolio, depending on the program. Just tuition, um, you know, everybody's favorite slide, right? You want to know how much money the school is going to cost. So this was our tuition for this past year. I do want to note that we did have a 10% reduction in our tuition this past semester. That's not reflected here, but I always just like to highlight that. Um, if you're curious to know what our tuition rate's going to be for the 2021-2022 cycle, that's going to become available in December. So we'll update everything for you, but if you're curious, um, that's typically when those numbers come out. But this slide will give you a really nice idea and a nice understanding of what the kind of average roundabout cost should be. And I apologize for my dog barking, you know, working from home, <laughs> you got to deal with those types of things. Um, so while we have over 80 different academic programs here at Rowan, we have a really robust College of Engineering, right? So we have a BS in Biomedical Engineering, BS in Chemical Engineering, Civil and Environmental, Electrical and Computer. Um, we have a BS in Engineering Entrepreneurship, which is a really cool program, Mechanical Engineering, Construction Management. You can also minor in engineering, which is really cool. So if somebody isn't ready to fully commit to engineering because it is a very rigorous, very time consuming program, you can minor in it, which is pretty popular as well. Um, but we have, you know, obviously a bunch of different programs if you were interested in majoring. Um, usually I get the question, what's the most popular major for engineering? And it would probably be mechanical. That's the most competitive program right now. Um, so typically, historically, pre-COVID, um, you know, we look for students who have a 1350 plus for that program, 3.5 or higher. Um, so like I said, since we are test optional, we are going to be really looking at that high school transcript to see what classes you're taking. Are you taking, you know, the most rigorous courses you possibly can? Are you maxing out your science courses? Are you maxing out your math courses? We want to make sure that you are challenging yourself and preparing yourself for engineering and for you know the path that you're going to be going down because it is a little challenging so we want to make sure that you are ready to go with that just some fast facts so we bumped up in the rankings so last year we were ranked 21st in the nation for our undergraduate engineering program um, this year we're number 17 so out of all the colleges and universities out there we are number 17 for engineering so that's something i'm really proud of it's something you should be really proud of too if you decide to come to rowan um, again we're it's kind of what we're known for right now. Um, our whole university was named after Henry Rowan, who was an engineer. He really wanted to um, make Rowan a powerhouse for engineering in South Jersey. So really cool stuff happening 
We have a 94% in, um, of our students are employed or attending graduate school right after graduating, so that's awesome. Um, the average starting salary, just at 70,000, so who doesn't wanna make that much money coming out of college, right? Um, 22 to one undergraduate student to faculty ratio. So again, that's an amazing ratio. Your professor is going to know you by name. They're gonna know what your goals are because that class size is gonna be so small. It's a very hands-on program and I do kind of outline in my next two slides um, what those courses look like in the program. So we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, Lockheed Martin does really heavy recruitment out of our engineering school. Um, so they are a well-known company. Everybody at Rowan strives to work for Lockheed Martin. Um, I'm a proud Rowan alum as well. I had a lot of friends who went to the engineering school and I have two friends working for them and they love it. But there's also a lot of different opportunities for students beyond working for Lockheed Martin. We have 230 plus partnerships. So there is just a a lot of opportunity again. Um, we have a career center for the university and then we have one specifically for our engineers. So if you are looking for a specific internship, a specific job, we will do everything we possibly can to get you where you need to go for that. And then like I said earlier, we have 20 tenant companies in our South Jersey Tech Park, which is on our West Campus in Maloga Hill. So they're doing a lot of research. Um, and I think what's really unique about our engineering school is it's a really hands-on program. So right from, actually, let me just go to the next slide. So starting your freshman year, you'll see that first year clinic. That is a clinical, that is a hands-on, you are doing real world research. Um, it's not something that you're reading out of a textbook or learning in your dorm room. You are in the labs with your fellow students and your professor um, doing that type of research. So this plan here is for mechanical engineering. Um, if you're curious to see the breakdown for every other engineering program that we do offer at Rowan that is available on the website. So I just took this one as an example. Um, but every year you are gonna have that clinical, which again, I think is what makes us really unique um, in terms of engineering, because usually schools don't allow students to start those clinical um, courses until their junior year. So we put you in your freshman year, your first semester, um, and those clinicals carry for the entire year. So you're gonna be due four total, and they will get a little bit more challenging as you work your way up that ladder. And again, third and fourth year, you can just kind of see the types of courses you're gonna take. They're really specific to your type of engineering that you're gonna be going into. There is still room for you to take electives as well, which I think is really awesome. Um, while it's a very structured program and a very rigorous program, we still give you the opportunity to take a ballroom dance class if you want, or if you wanted to take an art class. Um, so you have that flexibility within the major to still explore other areas of the university, explore other interests that you may have um, to fulfill your degree here at Rowan. Um, so I think that is all I have. Yep, so I'm gonna pass it on to my colleague, Heather. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, again, thank you for joining us. Um, you can go ahead to the next slide since I introduced myself. Um, Stockton, uh, hopefully you, those that know us know us well. We are the university at the beach. Um, we are very, about an hour from Philadelphia, two hours from New York City, but we are um, your university at the beach. Total undergraduate population is um, a little bit over 9,000 with our graduate population. Um, and we like to say that we have two lakes and one ocean um, because we are, we have our Atlantic City campus. You can go to that next slide, Amanda, thank you. So our marine science programs, since we are talking about specialty programs, naturally because of our location, um, our marine science, um, oceanography, um, a minor in marine science, we offer a plethora of different things to choose from um, in those specific programs from different concentrations. Um, of course, you are going to be taught by our uh, esteemed faculty here at the university, completely hands-on. And some of the next slides we're gonna actually see, um, you could be able to dive a little deeper into what uh, we offer as far as opportunities. Um, next slide, please, Amanda. So specific concentrations in both marine biology and oceanography concentration. And those are just some of the listing of the courses that you will actually be able to take as, as far as specific concentrations. 
Um, here at Stockton, because we are a liberal arts school, you also will have the opportunity to sample classes outside of your major of interest and gives you an opportunity to double major, major and minor. We also have a post-baccalaureate program for our marine science program. So if you'd like to um, combine that bachelor's and master's degree option, those are additional options that you can also choose from. Um, if you go to our website, you can see specific course sheets and the courses that you would take for each of these programs. You can go to that next slide. So um, again, as I mentioned, we are the University at the Beach and this young lady is one of our first year, first, um, you know, first uh, year college student um, and she's a first generation and we, we're actually very pleased with, you know, having a, a number of first generation students join us. And this is the very first time that she's obviously touched any kind of sea creature of any sort. So we got that on camera. Um, but these are some of the sample um, careers that you can choose within the marine science field. Um, and we have had quite, uh, been quite successful with placing students because of the type of experience that you receive. So we have our own field station. If you go to that next slide, <clears throat> We have our own field station, which is about five uh, miles from our campus. Um, there you are on a boat as early as your first year. You are receiving um, you know, hands-on experience from all of the different career options that we offer. Stockton is known um, as an environmental, we, we were uh, green before it was popular, I like to say. Um, so we have one of the largest um, geothermal projects both in all of our facilities as well as the main campus, um, a coastal research facility right at the Atlant in Atlantic City as well. So again, complete hands-on opportunities. Um, I think that you know as we shift um, the focus on all of the things that are in the environment, um, these this is really what students are looking for is really hands-on experience, and we provide that with a, a number of our degree programs, but particularly for that marine science program. Next slide. So how do you apply to Stockton? Very easy. We try to make it very easy. So um, we are a member of Common Application and we uh, recommend for students to submit, though we are not Common App exclusive. Um, we would recommend and prefer students to complete that Common Application, but we also have our web application. So we do not prefer one over the other, um, but we do again encourage you to submit the application. We're on a rolling admission, so we have a very late deadline of May 1st. Um, however, we do encourage students to apply um, early. We don't have an early action or early decision. It's a rolling process. So from the time receive your completed application, we will have a decision to you within about a week. Um, we earmark every Friday as our freshman Friday. So we are doing instant decision days, presentations, any way that you can connect with us, we encourage you to do so. Um, and then, of course, there are some specialty programs that we also offer um, that have specific deadlines. So again, if you're looking at any of those programs, um, I would recommend that you go on to our website. Um, next slide. So the costs, we, we all talked about our costs. So one, one thing I'd like to say is that, uh, you know, all of the state schools hover around that same price point. Um, so you will find that, you know, our total tuition fees, room and board, um, total cost is a little bit over 27,000. Um, but I'd like to mention that that's not what you're gonna cost. Uh, that's not what you're gonna pay when you come and attend Stockton. 88% of our students receive financial aid packages. Average package covers um, well over half of the cost and we have awarded over $15 million in scholarships. Um, and I would also add that over um, close to 60% of our first year students receive some type of scholarship um, from the university, okay? Um, and then of course, we like to brag about our four-year graduation rate, which is 17% above the national average. So this information you can actually look at right onto our website and learn about, you know, more about what we've um, accomplished over the years. Next slide. So scholarships, we're all, we've all mentioned some form of test optional. Stockton has, um, been t test optional since last year, but then we also uniquely are evaluating students um, for merit-based scholarships without SATs. 
And so you do not need to submit an SAT or an ACT to be considered for one of our merit-based scholarships. But what we do require is naturally your official high school transcript. We're gonna be looking very closely at the rigors of your courses. We like to see um, at least one to two letters of recommendation. Naturally, um, we're gonna look very closely at your essay. Um, and we'd like for you to complete the activity section thoroughly that is in the common application. If you do select uh, to complete the Stockton web application, there is a survey that we would like for you to submit in order for us to consider you for a scholarship. And then you'll see some additional awards that we have for our transfer students, as well as our out-of-state scholarship and international scholarships. Next slide, please. Ways to connect with us. So I mentioned that there's a number of different programs that we have um, from our campus visits. Um, we actually have in-person campus visits going on. We host about nine different families and they are single family tours. Um, so if you would like to come and visit the campus, you can just go right on to um, our visit page and sign up for one of the tours Monday through Saturday are our tour times and you can sign up for any of those um, tours very easily. We also have an open house coming up virtually October 4th, another one in on November 12th, and in December we're going to have a whole week full of open house um, sessions for a student to jump right into. So what I would recommend that if you are not a part of the Stockton um, mailing list, please jump on to um, stockton.edu, complete an inquiry um, card for us through our Discover account, and we will happily add you to our mailing list and send you all of this great information. Um, that concludes my presentation. Um, ladies, I think that we can open it up to questions and answers. I don't see that we have any at this point, and I've been monitor them, monitoring them throughout the presentation, but not yes, sure. We encourage you all to submit any questions you may have. It doesn't have to be specific to the topics we talked about in our sessions as well. So if you have questions generally about Stockton or Rutgers Camden or Rowan, we can certainly answer those for you as well. So feel free to take a moment, jot anything down you want. Um, to ask. Mm -hmm. Are we that good? I don't think we were that good. <laughs> Oh, wait, I see a question. I see a question. Oh, oh, oh. We're excited now. Let's get it moving. What, what did oh, yes. Do? That's a very good question. It is. Um, so for Rutgers Camden, we are a Division Three athletic institution. Yeah, at Rowan, we're also Division Three, so we can't offer any athletic scholarships, unfortunately. Um, so any scholarship coming from Rowan is going to be strictly based off of academics. So you'll be happy to know that this is the, the rivalries with our Division III um, within Stockton, Rowan, and Rutgers Camden. So you have to choose one, but we are the, all Division III. <laughs> uh, next question, can you do campus tours as a junior in high school? Absolutely, absolutely. Yep. So we, we're not limiting just to seniors. Um, if you jump right onto our website, again, visit us, I, I know that a number of schools are limited on what their offerings are currently for campus visits, but stock, we've been in session and open, and we've had uh, several different course modalities that we've um, rolled out um, for our students. So some of our classes are um, hybrid, some of the classes are gonna be combined um, you know, with online and, and coming on the campus, and some in session classes too. So we, you know, we've, we've been very fortunate. Um, quite fortunate to be able to open. Right now, Rutgers Camden is probably about 95% uh, remote. However, um, the Rutgers University-wide system, our president um, hopes to be at 50% capacity for the spring semester. So we're certainly keeping our fingers crossed for that. Um, right now, we don't have any physical tours on campus, but we do have our virtual tours that we would want you to check out. Um, we have both a virtual tour of the campus, and then we also have virtual tours of all of the residence hall options for you. So um, even though you physically can't be on campus now, you could certainly take a virtual tour, and then we're going to have our fingers crossed that we can have you on campus um, physically for tours in the spring. 
Yeah, so unfortunately, we're not offering official tours of campus right now due to everything going on. Um, but since we are an open campus, you are more than welcome to come to Rowan, park your car, put a mask on and follow social distancing guidelines and walk around to get a feel for the campus community. Um, we are working with Spotify to create a self-guided tour. So if you want to come on campus, plug in your headphones and listen as you walk around, you can certainly do that as well. That should be done in the next two weeks. Um, but we are hoping to open everything up for tours again very soon. We're just kind of waiting on guidance from that. Um, in terms of our course instruction right now, we are 30% um, face to face with instruction. Usually it's clinicals for engineering, um, labs for all of our science courses, and predominantly you are going to be online or students are online this fall. Um, we're hoping to slowly kind of open things up as we go into spring. So hopefully next year it looks different for you guys. Um, we're all hoping we want students on campus. None of us like an empty campus. It just doesn't feel right. Um, so we're hoping for good news next year. Um, another question is, what is your acceptance rate? Um, at Rowan, we don't calculate an acceptance rate per se. Um, I usually say for every five that apply, three typically get in. Um, that's not like official, it's just from my own experience and what I've seen. Um, I would say for Rutgers Camden, um, it does differ. So generally speaking, we probably have about a 75% acceptance rate. However, the nursing program is the most competitive, um, you know, for, for the, the, actually for both first year and transfer admissions. I would say for our nursing program, we're probably down to a, a better rate of about 50% acceptance um, into the program. But generally, overall speaking, we're probably around that 70 to 75% acceptance rate. Yeah, we're about there too, um, Brittany, about the same number. Um, for our programs, um, specialty programs are a little bit more selective. Um, for, for marine science, um, you know, though we don't require SAT scores, we are going to be looking at the level maths that you completed and, um, you know, how well you've done in those rigors of those courses. But no is not, you know, I like to always say, we're not going to tell you what you can be when you grow up. So we want to get you to the finish line and what you want to do. So it's as simple as just making sure that you, you know, pass that first year of a math class in order to get into some of, of the programs that we, we mentioned with the exception of our, our nursing program and some of our accelerated programs that we offer, but we definitely have options for students. <laughs> I wish I could see you guys. That's really, you know, that's that's the only thing about a webinar that you can't really you know see the students but um, again we're really glad that you joined us any other questions so i did want to take this opportunity if there's no questions to thank our panelists heather amanda and Brittany for giving us such informative information to all three of your campuses. Uh, we do want to thank you also the student and families for joining us today. Just a quick reminder that after you close our session, there will be a very short survey that's four questions. We encourage you to take um, an opportunity to fill it out and just let us know how we did and how we can improve. There are more sessions and we encourage you to sign up for them at www that njacac.org backslash virtual fair. At the same web link, you'll also be able to see the recording of this session as well as other sessions. Um, so if there's no other questions, have a great night and thank you so much for joining us.